Uh. Oh, that makes me so proud. I'm, I'm close to Google squirting. Oh, oh more unfortunates. <laughs> ah, so, ah, up they come, up to the tower. Foul creatures, terrible smells. I'm not talking about the tower, I'm talking about them lot. Ugh. This bunch of unfortunates are from Leeds. There's Jack, who has overdue library books. Kirby, who doesn't have a care in the world. Glenn, who's a champion hot shoe shuffler. That's Lauren. She reflects the sun. Daniel is a retired nuclear physicist. And Danielle, who can hold her breath for ten months. Go on, get in there! <laughs> This is my watch tank. This is where I get to see everything that goes on in the tower. For years, mobbing craft full of unfortunates have been coming to the tower. <laughs> Imprisoned at the top, they work to pass the challenges and escape each floor. For each challenge, a new saboteur is chosen. You are the saboteur. Only one will escape with the key of freedom. And the rest... Remain trapped! <laughs> Floor six. Body shock. <laughs> uh, it's body shock. That lab is creepy. And by that, I mean there's plenty of creeping. This is the tower lab. To pass this challenge, unfortunates must assemble a body from body parts scattered around the room. Easy, eh? Ha! Well, it would be if the lab didn't keep having power cuts. If this happens, they must beware, as someone might release the botherers. They must deal with the botherers and complete the body in time, or they will fail. Make a mistake in there, and it'll cost you an arm and a leg. So, who is the one who can't be trusted? It's time to pick the saboteur! Lauren, do not react. You are the saboteur, and you are the only one who can hear my voice. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You must make sure the body is not complete at the end of two minutes. During the power cuts, you can release the botherers, and they will seek to destroy the body. Do not panic. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Crafty! Can Lauren make the others lose so she can win? Unfortunates. This is body shock. To pass, you must have completed the body at the end of two minutes. Let the challenge begin now! Make sure you're looking helpful when the lights oh, are on. I've got an hour. Good. Get in position for the blackout. Yeah, yeah, Here it comes. Yeah. Be careful. You must not bump into anyone. It's above you. To the left. That's it. Now let the botherers get to work. Back into position. But next time, be near the cage. <laughs> what a mess! Help them get the bothers back in. Good! They're making really slow progress. <laughs> Power cut coming. Remember, get near the wheel. Need like. Where's the leg? Like. Like. Over to the wheel. Sixty seconds. Get the bothers out. Now, back into position. Good. When the lights come back on, see if you can waste time with the botherers. Ah! Get it off me! That's it. They're working fast. Don't just stand there. Quick! Power cut coming. Thirty seconds. This is your last chance. Here they come. Stand absolutely still. When the lights come on, you can't let the team finish the body or you're trapped. Oh. <laughs> Ten, 
Saboteur been spotted. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was. Glenn, who do you think the saboteur was? I thought that the saboteur was um, Lauren because I heard her moving her about and walking past me and she accidentally nudged me. Lauren. I think the saboteur was Glenn because he kept nudging me through the game. Daniel. I thought the saboteur was Lauren because she was stood next to me and I could hear footsteps moving around. Danielle. I think it was Glenn because I heard him whispering and moving around. Jack. I thought the saboteur was Lauren because I heard her sneaking about. Kirby. I thought Lauren was a saboteur because when she was next to me, she kept moving and nudging me and whispering about the wheel. You have voted for Lauren. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Lauren. Oh, yes. Lauren, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Well, it's no good sabotaging the game if everyone knows it's you, is it? Lauren, why do you think the others voted for you? I think I failed because I couldn't find the wheel and I kept nudging everybody. Poor, unfortunate Lauren. You're trapped! <laughs> Poor Lauren! No wonder the others thought it was her, with such a body of evidence against her. <laughs> Floor five, septic sewers. Ah, the septic sewers. To pass this challenge, unfortunates must plug up the toxic gas escaping from the drain. It's causing a right old stink. When the drain is complete, they will be sucked back up the pipes. Whilst waiting in the dark, someone will be sneaking about. They must plug up the drain before the time runs out, or they will fail. It's time to pick the saboteur! Jack, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by making sure the drain is not complete at the end of two minutes. I will advise you when it's safe to leave your pipe and unplug the stinky gases. You will have five seconds to unblock the drain from when you first touch a plug. I will guide you through your whisper clip. If Jack can make the team fail undetected, he'll make a clean getaway. Unfortunates, this is septic sewers. To pass, you must complete the drain by the end of two minutes. Let the challenge begin now! Good. Just be part of the team. Drain complete. Wait for it. How'd you come? Quietly. That's it. Really throw them. Now, spin the drain. Quick, 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 back in. Come up quickly. Quickly, quickly. Where's the one? <laughs> this is just what you need. They can't Where's find the one? missing plug. Just keep playing along. It's in anyone's tunnels. It's not in mine. One. Brilliant. Quickly. Is it in your tunnel? It's not. Danielle's got it. Got it. <laughs> now she looks guilty. Brain. Spin, spin, spin. 60 seconds. Quick. Back out. Quietly, though. Come on. Quickly. You don't have long. Get in. Get in. Out, out. If you're last out, they'll suspect you. 
quickly, quickly! 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 Yeah. Quick! Get it in! This could be your last chance. Quickly! Come on! Now, really throw those plugs. Good. Now spin it. Go, go, go! Out! Oh, quick, 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 quick! did it. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was. Jack, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Kirby because I heard a racket from the other tunnel. Kirby! I thought it was Danielle because the plug was hidden near her tunnel. Glenn. I thought it was, it was Kirby because I heard a noise from her tunnel. Daniel. I thought it was Danielle because I could hear her throwing plugs near Jack. Danielle. I think it was Kirby because I heard the shouting, oh no, I thrown it over there. You have voted for Kirby. I can now reveal the saboteur was in fact Jack. Oh. oh, top tower technique. Successful sabotage and nobody spotted them. Kirby, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. <laughs> Kirby, how do you feel about being trapped? Well, I'm not very happy about staying in a smelly sewer. Poor unfortunate Kirby. You're trapped! <laughs> Poor Kirby, trapped. To escape will only be a pipe dream. Floor four. Time for the unfortunate to get their hands dirty. The Tower Potting Shed is home to green fingers. To pass this challenge, the unfortunates must find three plant pots that contain magic bulbs. But they'd better watch out. If they pick the wrong pot, green fingers will get them. Unearth green fingers three times and they will fail. Get this right and they'll shoot to victory. But one of the team will want to bury them. Glenn, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by persuading the others to pick a plant pot containing green fingers. I will tell you where green fingers is each time. I will guide you through your whisper clip. So, Glenn is the next blooming saboteur, but can he do it? Unfortunates. This is Green Fingers. To pass, you must avoid Green Fingers and find three magic bulbs. Let the challenge begin now! Green right, Fingers is in the purple pot. Why not let them go first? But what do you think first? I'll probably want to be green, because it might be Green Fingers. Agree. Yeah, I agree. I think we should try green. No! Uh, yeah, go on, then. You can't give in that easy. That's one yes. to them. He's in the green pot, um, so why not try green well, again? Um, the last one was safe, wasn't it? So why don't we try it again? Good. We shouldn't try green again. What about this one here? Yeah? I, I think like we should this. go for purple. Don't let Jack take over. True that green was safe last time. Yeah. Yeah, so Agree with Daniel. That's what, that's what I, I mean know. as well. That might be a trick. We could have go for purple. Do you want to hear? No! Jonathan. Stop yeah. him! Go on then. Oh, Jack is really yes. bossy. You would have to watch him. 
You must okay, get this right, or you're okay. trapped. If green fingers right, is in the green, green part. And purple. Green and purple were. So I think we I should think go to to green. I, I think we should choose right, white. Yeah. I, I, I say green. Alright, yeah. so no. shall I put mine in? I don't. Excellent! Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Next, he's in the Where's white the part. Hand? We better stay away from green. We better stay away from green. Excellent. Yeah, no, right, I, I, though, I think we? we should try green again. No, yeah, I, I think don't. we should try white because... Yeah, Agree with Danielle. Danielle. We haven't tried white. Yeah, maybe. We haven't tried white, so go on then. No. We want to put the hand in. I, I think we, we haven't we aren't chosen white, so we might as well. Yeah, we, true, yeah. we haven't chosen so, white. Go on, Danielle. She's not going to like this. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. Frighten me. Not again. Oh, Brilliant. Right. You need one more. It's all down I to this. He's right. in the purple. It's Jack's choice now. Have we done purple? I don't want to do purple this time. Why? I want to try out white again. He seems to know a know. lot. He seems to know a lot. So do you. Now's your chance to frame Jack. Like, you act... I think you're acting suspicious because... Like, yeah, because you're saying we'll try this one and try yeah, this exactly. one. Yeah, exactly. I think you're acting suspicious because, no, because you're... you keep saying, "Oh yeah, let's try this," and let's and you're not giving like any yeah, anybody I... time to think. Like you're not like now. <gasps> I think purple, but I don't know. I'm just. I'll try purple then. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. oh. Unfortunate. You have. Miserably. I think the Saboteur did well good, but will it be enough? You must now vote for who you think the Saboteur was. Jack, who do you think the Saboteur was? I thought the Saboteur was Danielle because she was keeping really quiet. Glenn. I think the Saboteur is Jack because it didn't give anybody a chance to think about the parts. Daniel. I thought it was Jack because every time that we came to a pot, he always had a straight answer. Danielle. I think it was Jack because he wouldn't let anyone have their say. You have voted for Jack. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Glenn. No way. Jack, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. I don't believe it. Jack, why do you think the others voted for you? I think they voted me for me because I acted a bit suspicious, but not as suspicious as Glenn and Danielle. Poor, unfortunate Jack. You're too Jack gets trapped while Saboteur Glenn fools everyone. Floor three. Extraction. Take a seat. This is extraction. To pass this challenge, unfortunates must extract three rotten teeth from the whinging werewolf. But beware. If they pull out a healthy tooth, the werewolf will shake and howl in pain. Pull out three healthy teeth and they fail. There's only three, so who will it be? It's time to pick the saboteur. Daniel, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You must use your powers of persuasion to get the others to pull out healthy teeth. All the white teeth are healthy and will make the monster scream in pain. Don't be too obvious, or they'll suspect you. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Daniel should know the drill. Play this one right, and he's one floor closer to freedom. Unfortunate. This is extraction. To pass, you must pull out three rotten teeth. Let the challenge begin now. Daniel, remember, it's right. the white teeth. I think... Wait. Which one do you think we, we should go for? Do you think we should? I was looking at this one. Come on, Daniel. 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 Come
Come on, speak up. No, this one. <laughs> Glenn wants to pick a rotten tooth. Get Danielle involved. Uh, uh, what do you think, Danielle? I think go for that black one there. This one. It is very black. We'll go for that one then. Yeah? Yeah. No, you'll have to let them have this one. Yes. yes. <sighs> Don't worry, <sighs> there's still time. Right, um, I think we should... If that were a black one... Glenn's <sighs> doing a lot of talking. Try to get control. Well, this one. think one? a white one? About oh, that one? No, because... Might be a trick, though. Good. No, I don't know. Yeah, should we go for this one? Because that were black. And what that about the cracks? Yeah. That is so just that got cracks in. I don't think we should go for a white one. Why no, not? Why not? Because you think healthy teeth are, like, white. <laughs> yeah, but it's got loads of cracks in. Yeah, but um, that, that I'm not. Some teeth have, though, some healthy yeah. teeth have. Oh, no. This is going to be tough. Yeah, should, should we... That black one, yeah. This one. He's going for it. I say we should... Yes. Daniel, this is not going well. This time you must get your own which, way. Right, which one do you want to white go for? Because it's got cracks in. Right. Should we go for which one? Which white one? Shouldn't that one? This one. Yeah? Yes! <laughs> They've given you that, but they may be onto you. So don't look too guilty. Which one do you want to go for there? I say we go white one. Yeah. Don't be too yeah, obvious. Yeah, Focus on the cracks. Two black ones. It's got cracks in, honey. Keep trying. Come on. No. Because, like, the, if there's been some... See that one there? Yeah. No, cos I... They're not know. listening to you. I say why am but... Come on. Say it. you've oh, got to on. make decisions as a team. Come on. You've got... Yes. Uh, Unfortunate. You have passed. Did we even have a saboteur on that floor? You have passed. Therefore, the saboteur is automatically locked in the room. But before I reveal the unlucky unfortunate, who do you think the saboteur was? Glenn, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Daniel because he ch kept trying to choose the white teeth. Daniel. I thought it was Danielle because she only chose the two teeth that she wanted to. Danielle. I think it was Daniel because he was always wanted to chew the white teeth. You have voted for Daniel. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Daniel. Yes. Daniel, you failed to sabotage the challenge and you were detected. Therefore, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Ah, poor saboteur, Neil Plants. <laughs> Daniel, how do you feel about being trapped? Devastating to be stuck with that werewolf. <laughs> poor unfortunate Daniel. You're trapped! <laughs> By the jaws of defeat, Daniel is trapped on the third floor. And... Floor two! One way out, and there can only be one winner. It's the fight for freedom! To win the key of freedom, unfortunates must answer questions on their time in the tower. It's simple. Win, and they'll escape. Lose, and they'll be trapped. <laughs> <gasps> I'm so excited, I could perm a poodle. Unfortunates, this is your fight for freedom. The unfortunate with the most correct answers will be the winner. You have 60 seconds to prove yourself. Let the challenge begin now. Danielle, how many unfortunates played body shock? Six. Correct. Glenn, what number was on the wall in extraction? Pass. Three. Danielle, which unfortunate got trapped in the sewers? K Kirby. Correct. Glenn, who put their hand in the white pot? Jack. Incorrect. Danielle. Danielle, how many plugs were missing from the drain at the end of septic sewers? One. Correct. Glenn, was Green Fingers a right or a left hand? 
Too slow, right hand. Danielle, which unfortunate was in the middle tunnel in septic sewers? Glenn. Correct. Glenn, where were the botherers kept? In the cage. Correct. Danielle, on which floor was Green Fingers found? Three. Incorrect. Floor four. Glenn, on floor six, which body part belonged in the head? Danielle and Glenn, your time is up. Danielle, you answered four questions correctly. Glenn, you answered one question correctly. Danielle, you are the winner. Congratulations. Glenn, how do you feel about being trapped? I'm sad, but I'm glad that I got to the fight for freedom. Poor unfortunate Glenn. You're trapped! Danielle, you have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before I change my mind. There goes another lucky one. Danielle escaped. Her bad luck, though, because she will miss the closing ceremony. Yes, it's time for the changing of the pants. What do you mean the stink gets up your face, trumpet? Well, clear. Oh, do you want to see and hear what goes on when I was letting the CBBC office out on the telly? Well, head over to the CBBC website, scroll down and check out our star pages. See behind the scenes and read our updates as we answer your questions. And keep you up to date with all of our crazy shenanigans in the CBBC office. Go on, have a peer at it.